this is for you, this is for YouTube access, you know, sort of behind the scenes of things. A lot of people, when you hear this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, most people think that's uh, that's no diggity, and that is no diggity. But in actuality, he sampled that from an incredible artist named Bill Withers. That's actually grandma's hand. So Harry Connick Jr., who's an incredible musician himself, thank you, Harry, for asking me to be a part of his special, the way he's giving back to uh, you know the first responders, giving back to the people that are on the front lines with the COVID-19. He's traveling from, I believe, New York or city all the way down to uh, New Orleans, which is where he uh, is from. And he's uh, you know doing something special for the people. So he asked me to say, What's up to the people and sing a little bit of Grandma's hand Clapped in church on Sunday morning Grandma's hands Played a tambourine so well Ooh, Grandma's hands Used to issue out a warning She say, Jamie, don't you run so fast Might fall on a piece of glass There just might be snakes in the grass Grandma Mm -hmm. So we're going to give him a little bit of a taste of that. And then uh, put some smiles on some people's faces, you know what I mean? Because it's tough out there, man. And protect yourself and at the same time. Let's put out the love, man. Love, come together. Like Grandma's hand. Who, it is? who, who do you think it might be? You can say it. Jamie Foxx? Why would I have Jamie Foxx come on this show? I don't even like Jamie Foxx. It's Jamie Foxx. How y'all doing out there? Man, That's listen, Alfredo. listen. This is Marianne, Benitria, Alfredo, Lucinda, and you gotta help me again. B. Oh, B, <laughs> okay. Man, oh, wow. man, y'all look, y'all look like a good. These these folks are in the environmental services department. Right. They're responsible for cleaning the hospital. We don't oh, hear man. a lot about these folks. We hear about the healthcare workers, which we should. But these are the folks that are keeping it clean. It, they're they're heroes, man. I, I I'll let you talk to them, but they're amazing. First of all, I just want to say God bless to all of you, man. We have never witnessed or experienced anything like this in our lives, and we cannot. We cannot thank you enough for what y'all doing. Uh, I know what it feels like when I'm trying to protect my family, but for you guys to be on the front line, all the kudos to you, everything goes to you. And, and, and I just wanna hear from you. Alfredo, listen, they, they told me about you. I just wanna tell us, first of all, about yourself, and then also, what does it take? What type of mindset does it take in this crazy time for you to continue doing your job. And Is he breaking up? Hold on, ask him one more time. Are you still, ask him one more time. We lost you for a second. Uh, well, I was just saying, first of all, love you guys. And Alfredo, could you tell us, first of all, how you're dealing with all this? What does it take to do your job? And how is it when it comes to your family members and things like that? Well, it's taking one day at a time. You know, being the right friend of mine, trying to save lives, trying to be safe. And keep everybody safe. Now, now if, you could, if you could tell, because we're sort of out here hearing so many different stories, could you give us any pertinent information that we could take and pass it along so we could all start to come together and understand what's really going on? Well, keep Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ first. Wow. You know, keep yeah. on praying. Yeah. And Alfredo, where are you from? Panama, Canada. Panama! What do you do? Let me tell you what he did. Hold on. Hey, can you hold us real quick? Yeah. I told everybody, I said, this is a big hospital. You have to do a lot of walking. And they said, yeah, we have to walk. And Alfredo starts saying, yeah, we walk. <laughs> he said, we walk all over the hospital. That's what Alfredo starts doing. <laughs> He's from Panama, man. He don't walk. He, he, he moves like, show us a move, bro. You got a good one? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now they're amazing, Jamie. Oh man, that's listen. You guys are are, are absolutely. Like, does anyone else there 
do you have anything? Can I hear from one of the young ladies to sort of give us, you know, just a little bit more of right now at this time, what we all should be doing as, as, as people in this country? What message should we pass to people? Anybody can take it. And uh, think about think about others when you're doing stuff. So we're just trying to keep keep everybody safe. Man, that's so great. Well, listen, how how are you dealing? How is your family? How are you guys as families? That's what we want to know. Our families are good because when I get home, I lice off my shoes. I take my <laughs> clothes and I put them immediately in the washing machine. So it never, my clothes never go upstairs. My shoes never go upstairs. So I try to make sure I keep them safe. And I shower immediately. So I don't bring it to my family. And how many hours, how many, ahead, hour, how many hours are you guys working up, up, up right now? Eight, 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 it just depends. Eight I, work seven, I work seven days a week. Do you up, really? I come up on the weekend and do the testing site. Wow. God bless you. Jamie, I, I asked them, I said, are you guys, you know, nervous or do you feel like you're doing something extraordinary? They said, no. And every superhero I've met on my journey said the same thing. These people feel like we're doing what we were called to do. And that's that's why I feel like it's such a blessing for me, for you, for everybody mm -hmm. watching to, to meet these superheroes. Well, listen, man, you guys are superheroes and I thank you so much. And when this lets up, I'm going to come to y'all. I'm going to see y'all. And uh, you know, just just give you so much love and so much so much energy. Huh? You know what? I could do a song for my grandmother because I love my grandmother, and also for uh, uh, the late great Bill Withers. So we could do something like this. We could do something like this. It's all good. We can do something like this. We say, we'll do something like this. You know this. Mm-hmm. 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 Grandma's hands clapped in church on Sunday morning. Grandma's hands played the tambourine so well. Oh, Grandma's hands. Issue out of one name, she said, Jamie, don't you run so fast. Might fall on a piece of glass. There might be snakes in that grass. Grandma's head. Look, that's all I want to give y'all a little bit of that grandma's hand, man, to keep doing what you're doing. Because we love y'all. Thank you so much. We love you, Jamie. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Grandma's hands clapped in church on Sunday morning. Grandma's hands played a tambourine so well. Oh, Grandma's hands used to issue out of one name. She said. Jamie, don't you run so fast. Might fall on a piece of glass. There just might be snakes in the grass. Grandma's hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Grandma's hands. Soothe the logo on when mother. Grandma's hands. They would ache and sometimes swell. Oh, Grandma's hands. She would grab a and tell her she like grandma really understands that you really love that man keep yourself in Jesus hands grandma say mm-hmm you know I gotta do this for my grandma it'll be like this grandma's hands used to feed me piece of candy grandma's hands pick me up Whenever I fell, oh, Grandma's hands really, really came in handy. Like, uh, Annette, why you whip that boy? Why you wanna spank him for? 
He didn't drop no apple core. Well, I don't have grandma's hands no more. When I get to heaven, I'll look for grandma's hands. Mm -hmm. Grandma's hands.